Hello and welcome to Pokey Dippies. I'm your host, Joseph Moore, here, and with me I have two of the greatest friends of all time. Bla Blastoise. <laughs> <laughs> Blast and Toys. <laughs> Blast and Toys. <laughs> A.K.A. Dusty and David. How y'all guys doing tonight? Jesus Christ. <laughs> We see how we compare to this digital turtle. <laughs> hey, you're Blast and David is Toys because he comes second to you. Aww. Oh, Aww. I always come second. Oh, God. That just means you're caring. I would hope you, you come you second. You worry about your partner. <laughs> that just reminds me of an Austin Powers in Japan. Men come first and women come second. Or sometimes not at all. <laughs> I need to watch out some powers again. But let's go ahead and welcome Dusty. Uh, hello, everyone. All right, let's go ahead and welcome David. Dusty did it. GS Kamikaze. Also going to be the fixed cars. Just watch out for the, the future of fixing your skin. Dude, you, you glitched out completely. You want to restart All that? we heard was GS coming across the shimmer near good damn it. Which, you know, is wildly accurate for you, but, you know, it wasn't expected. Speaking of. We didn't understand a, sh a fucking word you said. So. Um, every now and then when you talk, it like... Mother, I said it very clearly. No, every now and then no, when no, you no. talk, like you glitch out and it like overlaps what you're saying with what you just said, so we can't make out what you say. Yeah, it's not me. It's, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> so like you won't talk for a second, we won't I hear say. anything, but then it'll catch up, it'll play what you were saying. But it'll fast forward at the same time, so what you're saying now and what you said just like a few seconds before are happening at the same time. Whoa. That yeah. sounds like Inception. <laughs> so, <laughs> it sounds so, like your so phone ahead, doesn't like you. So go ahead and do your intro one Whatever. more time. So, GS Kamikaze, and I also said Fix It Brothers, which watch out on YouTube and Twitter in the future, be the future of fixing your shit. We're gonna fix everything, so that's a company I'm gonna be making soon. Yeah, he didn't want to include me in that, but anyway. Fix it, brother. Uh, you live in Texas, you cunt. I offered you to come to Texas and we start the business, but you didn't want it. So. I Speaking of fixing fix shit, you cook briskets. It's not gonna work. Right, plumbing and briskets don't work. Just like glass <laughs> All right, we got the abilities of torrent and rain dish. With the His good friend Blastoise. <laughs> My best friend Blastoise. <laughs> with the typing water. <laughs> with the amazing stats of HP 79, attack 83, defense 100, special attack 85, special defense 105, and speed of 78. What is something you can say about this? Beastly turtle. It is a large tortoise like Pokemon with some features similar to those of its pre evolved forms. Blastoise has a large blue body, cream colored stomach, small fat arms and legs, and a large brown shell rimmed with white, featuring its water candies. Hey, you don't fat shit it is my now... boy Blastoise, okay? Rim. I was about to say. It's, I was about to say it sounds like Joe, but... <laughs> ha 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 ha! Go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it is now um. noticeably bulkier than its previous evolutions. Like its pre-evolved forms, Blastoise has a shell which covers its entire body, which it can also be withdrawn into. Contrary to Squirtle and War Turtle, Blastoise has large water cannons that are located on the top left and right sides. The water that comes out of the cans is capable of punching holes through thick steel. His body can complete, completely be withdrawn into a shell, just like a man when he sees a fat, ugly chick. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> also, you left out that when he mega evolves, he gets a really kick-ass ability called uh, Mega Launcher. 
And he gets a fucking bad guy beard and mustache. What? He gets a beard? Yeah, you, you didn't notice? Pretty much everything no. about him is bad at that point. His theme song he is Michael Jackson. Cannon, bad bro. What are you when he comes into battle. <laughs> He gets a third cannon, and you're talking about his beard. Yeah, he Michael Jackson's bad. That's his theme song. <laughs> oh my lord! Billy Jean is he's not bad. his lover. He's Blastoise. He's bad. Come on. Fit. He's singing about his best friend. Blastoise <laughs> has three water cannons. Oh yeah, he's gonna hate you because he's bad. You climbing those octaves pretty easy tonight. <laughs> All the time. All right, guys. He's pulling on his testicles. For yellow. My testicles the the, the Pokédex entry okay. for yellow. Yeah. <laughs> it says. Well, <laughs> the Pokédex entry for yellow. You ended. didn't know. David, you want I'm to I'm reading the guy <laughs> entry. I swear. <laughs> To God, Joe. I didn't say nothing. I'm going to lose my shit. I'm going to lose my shit, Joe. See, David, Joe, he's getting mad at me. You're going to make me lose my shit. Something. You're talking to David already. Right? Once a Blastoise <laughs> takes aim at its motherfucking enemy, it blasts out water with even more <laughs> force than a fire hose. So he likes to have that hate. That's all I wanted to say. What? What? The fuck? In the butt? What? <laughs> what? Who said that? In the butt? Here's oh. a fun trivial fact for everybody listening. When they were making red or <clears throat> uh, sorry, blue and green or red and green, whatever the two colors were <laughs> in Japan. Red and blue? Um, and they were, uh, well, no, it was green in one of them in Japan. I could have said um, green was a girl. Uh, that in the manga, they were actually wanting to make Blastoise the star. So we, like like how Clefairy was going to be the choice Pokemon instead of Pikachu at one point. Like, basically, when they made the anime, uh it was going to be Squirtle that evolved to Blastoise, and Blastoise was going to be the asshole instead of Charizard, and it was actually a last-minute decision to switch to Charizard. Really? Yeah. Where is this? I feel like Charizard is a better point, or a better pick for that, because I feel like Blastoise can't fly, so it's a lot less interesting. Blastoise just looks too jolly to be angry. <laughs> I don't know. The one I'm looking at right now. Is it because he's uh, fat? Yeah. He's like a Santa Claus <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're fat. Be happy, you fucking turtle. You got cannons. Calm well, fucking I mean, shit. if you look at Charizard, he's got a little Buddha belly. True. No, but you know, yeah. honestly, Blastoise doesn't look nice at all. He's a fucking bitch. Like in that episode on uh, the Orange Island, that dude was a fucking... Monster. He just kind of looks like he's stuck up, like he's an uppity bitch. Yeah, like he's an upstart. He looks like he has three holographic Charizards in his deck. That's what he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He represented Gary so well with the way he looked. Because Gary was a yeah. stuck up little snob. And Blastoise looks just the same. Blastoise was the first Pokemon I ever bought, or caught, or used, or picked, or whatever. Oh yeah, it was in he was red your version. starter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I picked Squirtle. Are you high? Game ever. Jesus. Huh? <laughs> you first... suck dick. You suck dick. You suck dick. <laughs> He's the first Pokemon <laughs> I caught, grabbed, snagged, uh, fucking used. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> your starter. You he was your starter in Gen 1. Fuck off, Joe. I'm drunk. Me too. I used, I, you... I used Squirtle as my first Pokemon ever in any Pokemon game ever. I didn't use him because I didn't like the way Squirtle looked, honestly. I liked all three of the baby forms, but uh, Charmander was definitely my favorite. 
Yeah, I know. We are belly drum. <laughs> you just got that this generation, bitch. <laughs> I had that precognition. I knew it was no. coming. No, Charizard has had had belly drum yeah, since belly generation two. Drum is, is Did he? Yeah. He's had belly drum since generation two. You just found out about it this year, though. He yeah. did. But speaking of Pokemon who just got shit this generation, Blastoise just got shell smashed this generation. Yeah, motherfucker. <clears throat> you uh, actually Pokemon. had it since generation two. You just found out that he got it this generation. You did. Look it up. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a smart ass. I'm just letting you know. Charizard's had it. And now we are no longer friends. All right. <laughs> we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, my heart. All right. Well, what is y'all's favorite in-game moment with Blastoise? I like the one episode <laughs> where Jigglypuff was caught in its cannon. Okay. We'll go with anime <laughs> moment. That yeah, that's the same episode I was talking about. On the Orange Islands. Oh. Well, my favorite game moment was when I was at my grandma's house and I was playing red version on my fucking Game Boy Color that wasn't even advanced yet. It was so long ago. And I didn't know how to save the game. Or no, I had just figured out how to save the game, but I didn't know how to catch other Pokemon. So my only Pokemon was a Blastoise and I was on like the third gym and I was just mowing people down with this fucking overpowered Blastoise. And I went through a cave, it was the second cave, not the one, it was the dark cave. So it was the one where you go and where you could see Zapdos. Uh -huh. But I went through the whole cave with just fucking Blastoise. Got to uh, the Zapdos very end of is it. in the power plant. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm, no, I'm saying like the, the cave that's near the, the power plant. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah the dark, yeah. Yeah, so I went through that whole cave and then I had to fight someone that had a Snorlax right after I got through the cave and I didn't make it to a Pokemon Center and I literally ran out of moves because I didn't have I didn't have any ethers or elixirs or anything. You didn't know how to catch so Pokemon. You didn't know what those were. I was just struggling and healing myself, struggling and healing myself until I like couldn't do it. I the only move I had was rest and I would rest and struggle. Rest and struggle. And every time I did that, dude, I was stuck for like an hour and a half doing this because I could not finish this battle because I couldn't kill the Pokemon I was fighting. And it couldn't kill me. And I didn't save in, from the beginning of the tunnel. And my grandma got super mad at me and I had to turn off my, <laughs> my fucking Game Boy and start over the whole tunnel. <laughs> I can imagine your grandma being like, if you don't know how to fucking play Pokemon, turn that fucking game <laughs> off. No, she was like telling me to go outside or something, and she's like, "No, you need to fucking turn your Game Boy off." And I turned it off, and then I had to start over the whole goddamn tunnel, and it was awful. <laughs> Is there a regular battle where you have to face Norlight? Um, if you picked Charmander, then uh, your rival. Are you sure. Your rival takes what's strong against you in the first <laughs> games. Yeah, I, I think know. it only. But, um, he said Snorlax. He, 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 Snorlax. he was facing a Snorlax. Oh. I don't think you face I'm a Snorlax regularly unless you use the Pokey Flu. I Maybe don't I was, know. No, I don't remember what Pokemon I was fighting, but I know it was a trainer <laughs> battle. Right? I, I, got I don't through. know what Pokemon I was fighting. I thought it was Snorlax. It was the fucking know. Snorlax in my mind, but... It could be something completely different. I don't know. Moral of the story is that I wasted like four hours trying to beat one goddamn Pokemon with struggle. And then had to start all over anyways. Oh boy. That's a doozy. It was the longest Pokemon battle I've ever been in my life. Well Dusty, do you have a favorite in-game moment with Blastoise? We already know your anime moment. <laughs> um, I guess just defeating it for the first time at the Elite Four when your rival becomes champion. Since I picked Charmander, he had uh, Blastoise as his superior Pokemon. Same. So defeating it was becoming champion for the first time. 
I fire, I flamethrowered the fuck out of it like three times to kill it. And I was Charizard was my only Pokemon, so it makes sense that I lived a few hits from a Blastoise to kill it. <laughs> you played a whole game with only Blast or with only Charizard? Multiple times, yes. What? I didn't feel there was a need to use any other Pokemon but Charizard. What? But I explained that in the Charizard video, so if you want to know how I did that, go ahead and tune into the Charizard video, which is like the third episode of this podcast. He taught Charizard <laughs> surf and strength and cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was actually slash earthquake um, flamethrower and rock slide. Huh. But hopefully y'all tuned in to the third episode before y'all heard that. Um, <laughs> but my an- my favorite anime moment is when uh, Ash's Charizard beat Blastoise in the Indigo League. Because, uh, fuck Charizard, man. <laughs> Fucking Charizard. <clears throat> I also wish Ash would have had a fucking Blastoise. He had plenty of EXP for that damn thing. I don't get why those guys never evolved. I know Bulbasaur, like, rejected evolution. Like, there was a whole episode about it. There was a reason Bulbasaur didn't evolve. Squirtle never evolving, there was no reason for it. Other than... And then, like... He's used all of his other Pokemon in other gens. Like, they've all come back for cameos. Like, his Cyndaquil evolved into Quilava during Gen 4. Gen 4 or Gen 2? Because I thought he evolved it before. No, no, no. The it, nope. Nope. He did not. No? I thought. Because there was a big thing about it. Because uh, when he met up with <clears throat> May in the Sinnoh region, when she met Dawn, she had a Quilava. And he brought his Cyndaquil over, and it stayed with him for a while, kind of like how in Gen 5, Charizard stayed with Ash for the last half of that. Yeah, and he kicked fucking Dragonite's ass like four times. Yeah. Well, that just goes to show you, Ash does not a fucking trained Pokemon. But, um, let's go ahead and get to the battle. Alright, now that we talked about Blastoise... David can shut the fuck up, or we can start the battle. <laughs> Dusty, we're going to let you go ahead and commentate this one. All right, for uh, Mr. Zamora Gaming, it looks like he's bringing Blastoise, Cradilly. He's got uh, David's Incineroar. He's got Gardevoir, Ditto, which I thought was banned, and Lucario. And then we go over to GS Kamikazes. <laughs> We've got a Blastoise, Chandelure, Ampharos, a Raquanid, ooh, a Bomba Snow, and Aerodactyl. And almost everything on the field is female unless it doesn't have a gender. Oh my god, a Boy Guard of War. Hell yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, there's a there's a dick under that dress. Just uh <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get you. <laughs> That's why Professor Oak has trust issues. And then we've got Dilly Dilly coming out, which is Cradilly, and then we got Get Gucked, which is Aerodactyl. Cucked. 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 Pegged, <laughs> cucked, gucked. Kinda saw that coming. No, oh, you haven't seen nothing yet. We've got Ancient Power hitting Aerodactyl. And we got Rock set up against the Dilly. David Drazen. We've got a switch in for Ampharos and a Taunt. Fucking purple. (laughs) Everything's shiny. Shiny. We've got the switch in with Incineroar. Cradilla goes back. And we've got Mega Ampharos. With a powerful discharge. David's Fury. Or Furry. <laughs> David's Furry. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. He's like, I will not stand for that to be named about. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. But I'll still images. Whoa, that thing's faster? Holy and shit. it goes. Hey, not think that oh, thing was faster. It goes better. And we got a Raquinid coming in. And Cradilla coming back in. We got Leech Seed on a Raquinid and Toxic on the Dilly. Took so Joe and Dilly Dilly. And now we wait. We got Ancient Power hitting a Raquinid. That thing has a big butt for special defense. And then we got the sticky webs going in on Dilly Dilly. There ain't nothing you want to switch in, motherfucker. We got Aerodactyl coming back in. Ooh, surviving the Ancient Power with 2%. You got Tailwind. It was a sacrifice, and it goes down to Ancient Power. And we got the man himself, Blastoise, coming in. Shell Smash. Ooh, Giga Drain takes a piece. No white herb, so I wonder what Blastoise is holding. Mega stone? No, God, that's scary. <laughs> I mean, it could have shell smashed after Mega Evolving to have more stats, though, right? Probably. Nope, Dynamax. Ooh, Dynamax, Blastoise, shell smash, wiped out Credilla. Uh, he mega evolved Amphros anyway. Remember the Fabio hair. And Ditto comes in. Imposter. Bullshit. Banned. Hacks. Cheating. <laughs> yeah, literally. But it's I, cool. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck you think you talking but it's, about. Oh, God, this is so bad. This is horse oh. shit is what it is. And get fucked. Oh, it's dead anyway. And, get fucked. and then that Max Darkness wiped out the ditto. Life orb. Fuck, how big your dick gotta be. <laughs> it's not life orb, but it got hit, hit by hail. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> question still stands. And then we've got rule 34 bait coming back in, which is guard of war. Uh, and Blastoise gets it with a Max Geyser. Oh, damn it! Is there anything faster? I had fucking Scarf. You also <clears throat> got that thing called Sticky Webs, homie. I know, but shit. Vitae, give me one. God damn it. I don't know what you just said to me, but I feel it. Lucario comes speed. in, fist her ass, wave, like and Vacuum speed. Wave takes it out. Bam, bitch went down. We got Chandelure Satan himself coming in. Shiny. And we've got Blastoise coming in, stepping on the sticky webs and the rocks. And we got Z Power, Sunny Day. Up in the speed for Satan. Oh, Turtle no. Soup, Dynamaxes. Takes that energy ball. Max Geyser takes Satan to 32%. We live. Well, oh, no shit. You had the sun up. Goddamn vagina. <laughs> energy oh. ball takes Blastoise to 21%, <clears throat> but Satan is dead. We got a Raquinid coming back in. The 6 0 Joe. <laughs> Max Geyser takes it down to half of what it had, and Toxic on Turtle Soup. Apparently in a 6-0. Look at that. That's true. It is true. It's... That is a lot of fact. That is factually factual. <laughs> fact of shit, well, eh? oh, the fuck you said there? Ooh, Me Scald either. takes it to 10%, but the Liquidation takes out Blastoise. 
and some leftover action. Joe's last <laughs> Pokemon, Fister as <laughs> nasty on, plot. Set up, set up on me, brother. That was the only chance I had. <laughs> and David wins 3-0. That was my only chance. And I it was his only chance. It's cool, dog. All right, it's Dusty versus. Uh, Forget his name now that he beat you. <laughs> no, I don't remember <laughs> what his name is most of the time. David, there we go. I'm Dave, the naked guy. Dusty Day Day. Yeah, Day. Dusty Day Day. <clears throat> You're in the Italian <laughs> chat. You would know. All right. Joe, if you don't shut up. <laughs> hey, David, suck my penis. All right, here we go. <laughs> he is Kamikaze. <laughs> you know his team. And then on Dusty's side, we have Blastoise, Angela, Escavalier, Charizard, Articuno, and Lycanroc Dust. Let's get this fucking battle started. Today. He got Tangle Angela. Oh god, is he gonna put more than one Pokemon in sleep, motherfucker? Alright, get <laughs> comes in versus Smog, the Charizard. Charizard immediately doubles out as Get Cut goes for Stone Edge as Double Penetration <laughs> switches in. <laughs> Scavalier. And he does look like he'd be double penetration, motherfucker. Satan himself comes in at 69%, the Chandelure, as double penetration gets off an iron head on the switch. Araquanid comes in, though. Ungoliant. Ungoliant. Um, Ungoliant, it's, uh, if you like the Lord of the Rings, remember that big spider in that? That's her mother. The Rock? Wasn't The Rock a big-ass spider or scorpion? No. Alright, now it's a, it's a Ungoliant versus 6 Joe battle, as both, uh, Araquanids are out there, and Ungoliant got the sticky webs off, as well as the Toxic. As 6 0 Joe goes for the liquidation. Which David didn't 6 0 me, so he can go fuck himself in the ass. Alright, <laughs> Ungoliant gets off the leech life as 6 0 Joe goes through the sticky web and is still toxic. I feel like there's Joe a lot of mirror going on here. 6 0 Joe finally goes for the toxic as Ungoliant goes for the leech life. To stay at 94% while 6 0 Joe is at 15%. Looks like David ain't gonna 6 0 nobody tonight. As 6 0 <laughs> Joe goes down. Aerodactyl get cut comes back in as Ungoliant is toxic under sticky whip. Stone Edge goes off against Ungoliant. And though it is a beefy mon, it goes down to the very physical. Aerodactyl get cut. Double penetration comes back in and get cucked is ready to stone edge again. So the last time at Stone Edge it did not do over half, so let's see if double penetration can live once again. Any day now I can feel it. What's the matter, Thank trainer? You. Fucking purple switches out and double penetration goes for a drill run. I'm just kidding. He goes for the knockoff and doesn't do much damage, so it must be a mega evolution. Oh god, who could have seen that come? Fucking purple turns into fucking Fabio as it goes for discharge. Doesn't get the paralysis yeah. and double penetration. There's your drill goes run. For the There's drill your run drill run. Time <laughs> and knocks it out with 18% left. On its HP bar. It is now 4 to 5 in Dusty's favor. Will it stay this way throughout the battle? We will find out right now on Pokey Dippy. 
Blasting off the Blastoise is ready to shell smash once again. And double oh penetration God. goes for the knockoff. Knocking off Blastoise Focus Sash. So that explains why it does not have a white herb here. It must not be max HP. Because there's no fucking reason why anyone would run a Focus Sash Blastoise. But a, a double penetration goes down to a skull. All right, what the shell? The Blastoise comes <laughs> out for Dusty, and blasting off is sitting at forty-five percent. Does Dusty have a move to take this thing out? We will find out right now. As Dusty goes for Mega Evolution, blasting off goes for the Max Darkness. Does not take out the Mega Blastoise, and oh. Dragon Pulse almost takes out the Dynamax Blastoise. But lives on 7%. Will not live in Excel Rock as it goes for Max Geyser and takes out What the Shell. Dog Coin, the Lycan Rock Dust, comes in. And we know Excel Rock is coming, especially with that lower defense. It should take out Blasting Off, and it does. Brain is still up, but there is no one on David's team to take advantage of it. Dog coin is there at 0.67%, but with Excel Rock, you can still take out most of David's team with its yep. life orb. <clears throat> Alright, Dusty, what Pokemon do you want to see next week? <laughs> Alright, no. yet Cuck is in. Excel Rock takes it down to the sash, but doesn't oh. take it out. Stone Edge goes off and Dog Coin no! lives on 5%. Why David didn't go for Earthquake, only God knows. Obama Snow comes in. Uh, Joe is trash, even though I'm not. Uh, Excel <laughs> Rock takes it down to 29%. And Hell takes down Lycan Rock. So Dusty cannot sweep with that sweet Excel Rock. Smog comes in. And Dusty... Still has a chance to Dynamax, I believe. Webs is not taken into offense. And Belly Drum Charizard on the field as Joe is trash goes for Auroraville, which I'm not. And <laughs> Dusty <laughs> goes for the max airstream to get that speed boost to outspeed the Aerodactyl and possibly that Scarf Chandelure. Honestly, Dusty go for Max Guard here, and Hell will take out that Aerodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I was just gonna do it anyway. Dusty goes for the Max Guard, and Hell takes down the Aerodactyl. <laughs> David can go fuck it. himself as Satan himself is in. <laughs> <laughs> and Smog is ready to take that thing down with the Max Earth. Oh, Max Quake! And Dusty <laughs> wins <laughs> the battle. All right, That's Dusty. Lovely. Totally deserved. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! David, how does it feel to suck ass? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Dusty, what Pokemon do you want to do after the next one? I honestly don't know what's all left. There's um, plenty. Uh, let me get my list. Because I know Tangela's coming up. I mean, if you want to get no. Onyx out of the way, that'd be the last two little cup for Gen 1. I don't know if I could stand doing two littles in a row. Um, there's also all the starter... Route one mon. There's my loops. Alright, hold on. <clears throat> we still got Raticate, Farfetch, uh, Fero, Arbok, Raichu, Sandslash, Clefable, Ninetales, Cantonian, Wigglytuff, Golbat, Vile Plume, Venomoth, Doug Trio, Persian. I think like that one. Gold I'm going to pick Arbok. Okay. Alright. Arbok is on the to-do list. 
Alright guys, we'll catch you guys next time when we do the next Pokemon.